so every time if you do any changes in the power query editor it will hinder the performance in the data view as well if you are a beginner you should definitely go for dax hi and welcome everyone in this video we will discuss the differences between dax and m functions which scenario you should use dax and which scenario you should use m functions so the first difference i can point out is dax performs in the data view which is this the power bi canvas i created a measure right here total of power passengers i have a dax functions and i get got the values measure and columns using dax but if you have to create any operations using m function you have to go to power query editor you cannot use m functions in data view dax is there for that we are here in the power query editor now so for reference i just created a custom column not used any function but i picked up passenger id and there are bunch of functions m functions which you can use for table add column and so on one thing to keep in mind is unlike measure where i was creating a aggregated value here you cannot it is row level operation if you create want to create a aggregated view okay you can do that by going to transform using statistics and count values but that will not be a useful thing right because the thing is power query to design to do some transformation and that is possible by doing row level operations the second difference i want to tell you is whenever i go from power query editor to back to my view to then apply data view it will take time to reanalyze everything do the back end calculation okay every time if you do any modification in the power query editor here for example if i if i want have to show i am deleting this last step okay now i do close and apply now if you notice the light it is loading again the data is loaded again in the data view with the columns adjusted here so every time if you do any changes in the power query editor it will hinder the performance in the data view as well so development point of view dax is faster query editor slow power query editor is for a transformation data transformation activity using m functions you can do that as well the difference is both are independent to each other you cannot perform dax in query editor the same goes with m functions in data view fourth point is using dax you can create roles you can manage roles create new ro new roles here it's need dax expression not the m functions so that is a plus point you cannot do that with m functions one thing comes in mind when m functions forms operation in the back end is that they use compression algorithm to compress the data and performs faster on the other side dax doesn't do anything i used most of the time the dax functions and i see very little difference between dax performing and m functions performing in the power query so these are the few differences between dax and m functions if you are a beginner you should definitely go for dax learn dax then learn m functions if you have experience of 3 4 years and you should if you are not aware of m functions learn m functions for experienced candidate dax for beginners why because when you go to a company most of the dashboards are already up and running in the server the power bi services right you will be given task to modify it in the data view not the query editor so dax function will help you there go for dax that will improve your chances in getting hired for a company what questions can be generate from this comparison right the first one is pretty similar interview interviewer can ask you why m functions if we do have the same dax so why necessary for m functions right 
so we have the answer both perform different things in different view interview can I also ask where can you choose tags what are its limitations so that is also covered in this video so I hope this video was helpful and educational and you learn something out of this video thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one